Hey, Cormdeo, in this weekly update, I wanna look back and I wanna look forward. I wanna look back and tell you about this past week. Um, I mentioned I was going to New York City, so I was in Manhattan all week this week, gathering with the Keller Center Fellows. This is something I mentioned a few months ago, I'm doing a three-year fellowship with the Keller Center for Cultural Apologetics. And besides telling you that really cryptic sounding name, I wanna describe what we actually are working on and doing. So let me th help you think about it this way. Every culture, has a plausibility structure. This is an idea that Leslie Newbegin first popularized, the idea that there's certain things that just make sense in a culture and other things that don't make sense. And of course, the plausibility structure, what seems just intuitively obvious to us, is given to us by our culture. So if you live in the United States of America, your plausibility structure is shaped a lot by modernism, by individualism, by political liberalism. There's a bunch of traditions that sort of are the water that we swim in, or as Glenn Scrivener says, the air we breathe, that we just take for granted. And part of the challenge of preaching the gospel in any culture is helping people who take certain things for granted reflect on what they take for granted and consider how the gospel might challenge that, confirm that, complement that, or change that. And so the Keller Center is um, 24 really smart, intelligent, wonderful people from all over the world, Australia and Europe and Indonesia and America, thinking together about the major cultural defeater beliefs in Western civilization. What are the things that the people in your world, your friends at work and your neighbors take for granted? And how can we help to bring the Christian faith to bear on those assumptions in ways that show them to be what they are and that help people reflect on um, what things they unthink or take for granted. And so we spent some time in New York just thinking about what are those cultural assumptions and what's, what are some of the things we could give ourselves to over the next few years to create resources and thinking and writing that would serve the church um, in that realm of cultural apologetics. So I had a great time. New York City is a great city. The people I spent time with were just wonderful people. It was great to get to know many of them and for the first time and just to think together about some of those questions. Now, looking forward, this week I'd like to ask you to pray as we host here at Coram Deo a conference for the Acts 29 Network um, focused on church planting. And so we're going to be welcoming in pastors and church leaders and thinking together about the future of the church and about church planting. Uh, I'll be spending some time investing in some of the church planters we love and support financially and resource wise. And so we're excited that some of those folks will be with us and also just broader people from the region and from the country at large coming in to learn about the church and about church planting. So please be praying that God would use this conference to encourage leaders, um, to raise up leaders and to awaken people to the work of church planting. Thanks to you, even though you're not here this week, you're helping to support this work as you invest in the broader work that Quorum Deo Church is doing. And so thanks for being a church that cares about serving the church. That's what we're giving ourselves to this week. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to do that. I'll see you next Sunday for another weekly update.